Hello there. Um, welcome everybody. My name is Diorama Don and uh, as the thumbnail tells you this uh, is a diorama of the uh, the fall of Berlin. Uh, perhaps diorama is stretching it slightly. Uh, there's no road in front and, and no vehicles. Uh, it's just the building that's all. Uh, but I think it's it stands up it stands as a a standalone building uh, uh, which is good enough for um, a, a diorama as it is uh, with all the broken windows and window frames and what have you. Uh, so without further ado um, let's get into the video and I will show you how I went about making it. Um, before that please subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and you'll be uh, informed when new videos come along. So let's get on with the video. So what we want is a um, municipal type building, an important building. So the doors are going to be bigger, the windows are going to be much bigger than normal house. Uh, <clears throat> so with the aid of one of these, 135 scale person, uh, we can work out how big, in fact <clears throat> that door should be, well I don't know, that's okay. Uh, the, we can work out the sizes of the, the door and if that's a window there and he's standing there then that would be about appropriate and that width again there for a, a, this is going to have um, dressed stone uh, on it to make it look more important so in, in relation to the uh, the person then we can work out how big the building is going to be it's going to be very high, very tall. Uh, the rooms in the second and third floors are going to be very high. Uh, so we've, we've got or we'll managed to get the uh, the shape of the um, building we want. In fact if you've got one of these things it makes life so much easier. So with a, a big T-square like this you can work out the dimensions that way, how wide that is, how wide that is, how wide the window that wide, that wide, that wide, and then uh, put all the measurements in that way, or all the lines in that way, and then the same that way. I know, I know we're talking the the bleeding obvious here, but uh, just in case you don't know. Uh, so look, what I'm saying is, it's easier with one of these, uh, a, a cleaner one, preferably. So now we've got the front. We need just one side. Uh, I'm not going to do the whole building. It's going to be uh, the, the, the side like that. And I've already cut out what I need to. Uh, there's the bottom floor window, then the bigger two windows at the top. And this, this is the part that is uh, blown away, that is bombed out. So I can mark out on here where... Where are they? That way. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I started that side and made a mistake. Uh, so I, I'm work, I can work out where to cut out the window and then the broken um, masonry there. Uh, window, masonry, window and so on up there. And then cut out all the, all the windows and the door frame. And uh, then that will give me my basic shape at the front there. So what I need to do then is we need a thickness of building. Um, I've got three quarter um, polystyrene. Half inch would do really. Uh, but it, as it's such an important building then the, the thickness of the walls would be quite substantial. So three quarters is okay. So I shall stick that on the front when all this is all cut out and then cut out into the polystyrene all the windows and doors. So I'll have that shape and then that shape there when it's all cut out, something like that. So I'll do that, I'll cut out all the uh, necessary bits and pieces, stick it on my polystyrene and then cut the polystyrene to suit and uh, then we can start on the mouldings and it's the mouldings that are going to make this building look um, impressive <laughs> he said uh, so i'll go ahead and uh, come back in just one moment 
So I cut out the windows and doors in the cardboard, stuck it onto my polystyrene and then cut out the windows and doors from there. Um, I've started putting the moulding on the bottom and all they are is bits of 2mm cardboard again and then just go around with a bit of sandpaper just to give uh, an edge like that to give the appearance of a dressed stone. So if, if, if they were just two pieces of cardboard together obviously that's not going to make much of an impact but with them dressed like that I don't know if you can see it looks so much with a slight gap between it looks very um, re <laughs> realistic I think <laughs> maybe not uh, so this th there's all these columns to do so if I can try to show you they'll be a bit like that a bit like that on there one there, one there and one there. So they'll look like that, going up all one, two, three, four, five columns like so. Um, yeah, I think that'll look okay. I, the, the gap between, I've got to take them up. I don't want to mess them up because they're all in order. <laughs> the gap between them is, is quite big, but when, uh, when, the, when it's all done, I'll cover it with um, uh, wall filler, watered down wall filler and that, that will uh, go in the gap and fill the gap up a little, make it a little uh, more realistic. So that's what I'll do. Uh, the top will have a, like a, a cornice, if that's what you'd like to call it, uh, effect on the top there and of course the uh, going around the corner on the, on the side piece as well. So I'll stick all my bits of cardboard on and we'll see how it looks then. Looking a bit more like a building now, put all my pieces of cardboard on. Uh, I made the cornice at the top uh, with just four pieces, four strips of two millimeter cardboard uh, getting slightly smaller and smaller. Uh, then I gouged out some of the cardboard and put some of my bricks in. To, to make it look like the uh, broken render on the front. Uh, made a few shell holes with the drill and cut away some of the uh, uh, <laughs> mouldings along the, uh, the sides there. So, and gave it a coat of uh, white uh, wall filler mixed with water and we've ended up with a reasonably look, good looking building. I think that looks okay. So what I need to do now is paint it with um, a grey grout um, rather than paint so that I can uh, m make a kind of texture, if you like, on, on these uh, dressed stones. So I'll put the grey grout on and then with uh, the, um, uh, the, backs <laughs> the back side of a washing up sponge. You know, one side is a sponge, the other side is, is a a scourer so with the scourer end dab that on and that should give a um, <laughs> that should give the appearance of a dressed stone then uh, I hope maybe it won't uh, okay so I'll do that um, when that's dry I'll probably give it a, a black wash just to uh, weather it age it down a bit and uh, that will be ready then just for doors and windows, uh, which will uh, complete the building. Um, I'll sit it on a path, but that's all. I, I won't do a road in front. I'll just put a path around here uh, and, and on a, a diorama base. So uh, there we go. I'll finish it off now and uh, I'll be back to show you the finished thing. Just a quick update then, I gave it that coat of grey grout uh, which left it looking quite light coloured. So then I gave it um, a black wash and uh, I was able then with, um, oh, what do you call it, wire wool to just to take off uh, the surface of the black. 
and it leaves it looking uh, quite old and weathered looking. Um, so there we are, that, that's the finish of the, the building. And I did what I said I was going to do with the uh, surface of the dressed stone. When I put the grey grout on and used the back of a washing up sponge, the uh, scouring side, and just tapped on there. And you can see it's, it's given it a, a texture on the, uh, the surface of the stones there, which makes it look very realistic. Well, it does to my eyes anyway. Whether it does through the camera, I don't know. So anyway, that's the, the, the basis of the building done. I've had to cut 12, 12 of these uh, window frames, which uh, will sit in there. Uh, these have got to be, I've made them quite simple because <laughs> there's 12 to do. And this took long enough. Uh, again, two millimeter cardboard, that's all. Um, I've got to paint these green and then put uh, an acetate on the back to show the glass. And then these will go in the uh, window frames there. Uh, and then the smaller ones at the bottom, like so. Uh, and for the door, um, just another piece of card with another piece of card behind, with another piece of card behind that. Uh, then to, to show the panelling of the, the two doors, uh, just a groove between the two doors to show to show that they are two doors. And then that will sit behind there when that's all painted up with uh, and glazed. That will, uh, that will look OK. OK, so that's the building and the doors and windows. And then for a base, I haven't gone for the, the road outside. I've just done gone the path. So that will sit on there. Like so. And we'll just see the path there with the, some of the rubble from the uh, broken ends there across the path. And I'll just cover this in, in, in a grey grout just to show that it was the road. OK, so that's basically, I mean, all that is is piece of polystyrene and two inch card on top and I've, I've gouged out the shape of the uh, paving stones with, uh, with a sharp knife. So I'll finish it for, for now and uh, come back and I'll show you the end product. Okay so project finished now. I, I put all my window frames in which took rather a long time. Um, I finished them up, painted them and, and glazed them and then just gave them a, a, a slight spray of black aerosol spray from, from the back just to, to show that they've uh, been in a fire, if you like. And uh, a lot of the gla glass is broken, especially on the end here where the, the bomb hit. Uh, and then sprayed it again a, li a, little, a little darker with the black spray paint. Uh, to show the um, residue of the blast. Um, <laughs> as in every single uh, diorama I seem to make these days, uh, the one <laughs> street lamp that I made, uh, if you're interested, again, uh, I did make a video on how to make a vintage street lamp. And that's the same one for every, for every diorama I make. Uh, again, with the banners, I made those in a previous video. Um, except with these two, I, I, I burnt the end and then uh, had to put them out rather quickly because they, they did catch fire rather rather violently. Nearly burnt the house down. Uh, but anyway, got the windows and the door, put the door in at the back there. Uh, but I put a gauze over there for some reason, I don't really know why. And uh, then there's all the rubble on the, the path outside. Um, I, I could have made... The, uh, the base bigger with um, a road and vehicles going by but the, the whole point is just the building really the fact that it's just cardboard and polystyrene and that is all there is nothing more to it than that uh, so it, it can be an impressive looking building with all the dress stone and uh, um, large windows in the building and uh, it doesn't have to cost much money to do. 
just cardboard and polystyrene. So it's cost me pennies, cents, <laughs> uh, to make. Not much money at all. Um, but I think it turned out uh, better than I expected. Uh, yeah, we've got, got the rubble, got the... Uh, uh, I'll put the... Um, uh, the rubble on the ends of the uh, <laughs> the walls that have been broken. Uh, just sprinkled the uh, broken pieces of uh, tile grout, uh, the same that I used the uh, for the rubble in front. <laughs> I hope you're following all this. So there we are. Um, like I say, you you could make it bigger to to show off your military vehicle in front, but I think it's a, a reasonably good standalone diorama as it is um, I think it uh, would be okay okay so have a go yourself let me know how you get on I'll be back uh, in a few days um, I'm having problems with my computer so uh, until I get that fixed I, I may have to wait a few days extra uh, but anyway click the subscribe button and the notification bell and you will be informed when new videos come along, uh, of which there are many, uh, 180 so far. So, see you in the next video, and as always, I wish you happy modelling. <laughs>